but it seemed like, man, you know, I just seen an article on t on Twitter. This company, this this parent, these parents are trying to sue Epic Gaming for Fortnite because their kids are their kids are not taking care of the hygiene. Let me see, can I find it? Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. I, I recently seen this, uh, probably a couple hours ago. Let me see, can I run it run it down right quick and show y'all. Um, we're going to talk about blue face at some point as well. What's good gang? I want to get on that blue. I, I really, I really got to just, I really got to just take a full day to get on that blue face shit. I want to get on that blue face shit heavy because I want to do a full live stream on that because the, the blue face situation is, it's so weird. It's so weird. I right, let me see. Can I run this down? I, I think I seen say cheese posted. Number 14, fish found more than 3.6 miles under the sea. Australian researchers searched deeper than scuba diver and submarine could go and found some never before seen specimens. Look at this fish, y'all. Hmm. That's an ugly motherfucker. But that goes to show y'all, though, that's all kind of things out here. You know, we talk about it all the time. We talk about it all the time how who knows what in the ocean. What little they tell us and what they don't tell us. You feel me? But here it go right here, y'all. Check this out. Check this out. Parents are suing Epic Gaming claims their kids are addicted to Fortnite. My kids don't. Listen, y'all. My kids don't take care of their hygiene, don't take showers, they barely eat or sleep anymore. Chat. Who fault is that? <laughs> Who fault is it your kid don't take care of their hygiene? They don't take showers. They barely eat or sleep anymore. Who fault is that? Like, At some point, where's the responsibility of us as adults? <laughs> yo, where is our responsibility, yo? Bro, it just, like, this, this shit is just getting out of hand, bro. I understand there are some things that we can blame. There are some corporations we can blame for certain things. Like, if I'm eating something like, you know, with the food product and we find out that it's making us a certain way. Yeah, we can blame that. Stop being a soft parent and get on a ASS like the old days. Yo. To my G's in here right now. If you tell your kid, hey, get off that game, man. Go take a bath. And he don't want to get off the game and go take a bath. He or she. What's the next step? It's simple as one, two, three. Throw that fucking game out the window. If I got a kid, Morgan loved Fortnite. When I found out Morgan was sneaking up at the middle of the night to play Fortnite, I caught her, y'all. We caught her. Me and Kat. We found out that she was sneaking up playing the game at night. No, no, no. Let me correct it. She'll cut Fortnite off and get under the cover and play on her um, tablet or phone. So that's what we found out. So when we sent her to bed, we found out that she wasn't going to bed. She'll cut the Fortnite game off. Now proceed to go to the next stage of uh, gaming, which is her tablet or phone. We took the game out the room. We took her tablet. We took her phone. What's so hard about that? How is it epic fault that you allow your kids to walk around with musty armpits? That's on you. <laughs> My boy said, go get the switch. Take the damn game. So I got a question. You think whooping your kid is bad? No, sir. 
this new system. See, you got to understand, there is a system. There is a system. There are people out here that doesn't want you to be a parent. There are people out here that want your kids to come into the CPS. So the CPS can do as they please with your kids. Believe it or not. There are people out here that want your kids to call Child Protective Service on you and say, yo, my mom and daddy spanked me. When we know the kids have these ability to lie these days. How many parents have gotten in trouble because their kids lied? And then the kids so fucking stupid, not knowing any better, they lose their parents and end up in a horrible situation. Horrible. Calling, calling in on their parents because their parents gave them duties. My mom want me to clean up. My daddy want me to clean up. Not to be me, he said, but, but no, I don't know if it's just a picture that they put up. But DC, we know there are some black parents that do this as well. There are black parents that are afraid of their kids as well as we see that this is a white Caucasian male. But it's them. Yo, let's let hey, CJ. There are some black parents that do this. There are some there's uh, in, in my in my studies. Uh, there are peoples of all race. All race, y'all. See, look at that. Help Pain said his mom do it to his brother. And Help Pain, I think it's black. I know some black kids that get caught up like this. I know some black kids ain't never been punished before. And did some fucked up shit. I know some. So... We we look at it. We I know most of us we we know most of the time we hear about stuff like this. It's tend to be Caucasians kids most of the time, but there are parents of all ethnic groups that do this to their kids. They allow their kids to run the household. But I, I but but if we had to go off a stereotype, most of the time it's Caucasian. Most of the time we hear kids talking back to their parents, it come from the Caucasian side. Most of the time. That's not us being racist. That's not us being biased. You know, that's just based off of what I have seen in my life. When I hear it, I got I I I have seen it happen before. I'm 30 years old. I done seen I done seen some of my non-black homies get down on their parents. I done seen some of my I done seen some of my black homies get down on their parents. I done seen the fights in, 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 in all ethnic groups, but most time we hear about most time we look at it and we hear, hey, I ain't doing nothing, mom. Shut up. There ain't usually no black kid. Most of the time we hear that. We know to count the black kids out that group. But there's one or two that might be in there. But most of the time, we're like, shut up, mom. Fuck you. Oh, no, nah, that ain't no black nigga right there. <laughs> yeah, that ain't no black nigga right there. He said, what? Fuck you, mom. I ain't doing it. I'm still playing Fortnite. Get off the game, Tim. God damn, nigga. He said, what? He still on that bitch, too? Oh, no, nah, that ain't no black kid right there. That ain't no black kid. That nigga still playing the game? Told mom, shut the hell up. Yeah, that. Because most of us know. If we said that to our black parents. They probably, we probably have a reason to call child protective service. Most of us know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we call it somebody. Because after you say that, you start to look around. Eat. Like, whoever got the ball, whatever... Most of the time, whatever black kid have the balls, or for my young ladies, they have the, whatever they have, the guts to say that, we know you might well go and start finding somewhere else to live. Black parents will put your motherfucking ass out. Oh, you talking to me like that? 16 years old, you, you got put out. Go stay with your grandma. 
Your grandma don't know that you routed like that till she find out. Now she trying to send you back. I told you his motherfucking ass was, was, was thinking he grown. Now she trying to send you back to your mama. But see, your grandma, and that's what we was talking about um, a couple days ago. Most of us don't have great grandmas and grandmas anymore. This new generation don't have grandmas and great grandmas and granddaddies. The, grandma, the, the grandmas that we used to, I done seen it. I done seen my home. Nigga, I done seen it from my auntie. Because y'all got to understand, my, my people are older. I'm 30. My dad's 63, 64. He had, he had 12 sisters and brothers. I done seen my auntie. My cousin, first cousin, came home late. You know what I'm saying? He was out there in that game shit. I used to be playing his game while he was gone. Every time he come back, he never want me to play the game. Y'all got them cousins like that, bro? Do y'all got them cousins that never let you play that game when you was little? Man, that nigga used to be some bitch-ass nigga, dog. I got a cousin, bro. Used to have all the games when we was little. And his mama would let me play while he gone. When he found out that I been on the game. Because, you know, we as kids, y'all remember, we didn't know about saving progress. So, he would never let me play his game no more while he left because I fucked up his save progress. <laughs> I think that nigga was playing some fucking uh, Grand Theft Auto or something that I fucked up the uh, save progress. You know what I'm saying? So, ever since then, and it was some rational shit, I used to fuck up all his games. He said, I'm the older cousin who had the games and I let all my little cousin play, but they were selfish with me when I came to play that game. Damn. Nigga, I got man, my cousins. They used to be tripping, bro. You, they find out you playing that game, nigga. Well, they be my cousin. When he find out I play the game, he used to take my head and do like this. Man, I told your motherfucking ass don't be on my game, then. And then I go tell your mama. Man, that man, he be tripping every time try to play his game. That's why I don't like coming over here. But I had to go over there because my daddy was working. My dad was single father. He was working. He can't watch me in, go to work. So I, I went to school over her house. Chat. But back to the story. I seen him come home late one day. I kid you not. That memory card. <laughs> the memory card. <laughs> yes, sir. That memory card, dog. That's, but you know, some of the memory cards, you can fuck them up. Some type of way you can corrupt the file. Some type of way you used to be able to corrupt that file on that motherfucker, man. And boy, them niggas didn't play that shit. No big cousin didn't play that shit. Man, you done fuck my shit up, bruh. Give me on, man. Give me on. Give me on, motherfucker. Give me on. Niggas used to take my head and just. That's probably why I got that gray patch right there, dog. On some real shit. Dog, hold on, chat. For y'all that know, y'all know I got that gray patch right here. That's what that nigga used to do that shit at, bruh. That's probably why my hair like that. Nigga probably burnt my shit. Ain't that some shit, bro? Nigga probably fuck me up, man. Got my shit like that now. Ain't that some shit, bro? That probably why my shit like that. That nigga should take me right there and do me like this, bro. For playing his fucking game. Fuck my hell up, man. Damn, that nigga burnt my soul. <laughs> yeah. He said, I swear to this, uh, Lucy out of Mississippi shit. He said, my cousin, uh, uh, Shannon, you was exactly like that. You too young for gray hair. That nigga broke my shit, bro. That nigga took me and do me like that. Then he used to punch on me for playing this shit. But anyway, you know, get back to the story of the parents. This is the auntie I'm talking about. This is not even grandma and granddaddy. Man, his, his mama took a skillet and knocked him the fuck out. Knocked him the fuck out. Because every time he used to try to come back in the house late, him and his brother, they used to always try to knock on the window. You know what I'm saying? And I would sleep. I used to be the one that unlocked the door for them. Man, type type one of you was that nigga that had to unlock the door for your for your brother or your cousin. I was that nigga, bro. And this night I felt I slept, I was sleep too hard. So y'all know the nigga tried to fight me for that. He had to go wake his, he had to go knock on the, his mama window because I wouldn't wake up. Boy, he was talking that shit too. You know what I'm saying? She was like, what you doing coming in in time of night? He was getting smart with her. 
Man, she took a skillet and knocked that nigga side of the head, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was he was crying and shit. And this nigga was like 17, 18. Man, she took a skillet and knocked that nigga upside the head, bro. Everybody in the hall wake up, you know what I'm saying? Cause see, back in the days, there are fathers that do punish their kids, but women's wasn't so quick to say, I'm gonna wait till your daddy get home. You had some women that are uh, get that act right on your motherfucking ass quick. And she was one of those ones, like, his dad used to be lenient. Well, he was his stepfather. So, he didn't want to, he would try to, every time the stepfather would say something, it would be so close to a fight. So, the mama used to always, that's all right. I, I get that motherfucker. She will knock his ass out with some broom, stick. She don't give a fuck. Because, she was she was kind of short, but she had some tall sons, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I end up, he end up trying to, you know what I'm saying? He end up, he giving me a one-two, you know what I'm saying, in the chest, because I, I didn't unlock the door for him after he finished healing for that, from that goddamn skillet. And check, if y'all know, back in the days, I don't know if you young niggas know about this. There's a different type of skillets. Type one, if you know what I'm talking about. There are skillets. And then there's old school skillets that weigh 30 to 40 pounds. This is what you cook your eggs in, your hot dogs, your sausage. Y'all know what I'm talking about? There's the new skillets, and then there's the old school skillets. The old school skillets look like, I don't even know what they look like. I mean, they look like a skillet, but they different type of equipment on these motherfuckers. Like, these type of skillets are like bricks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's just in my area. Maybe these the post skillers. Maybe these just was the poor skillers. I don't know. Maybe y'all had some rich skillers. These skillers was in my area, bro. These bitches weigh at least 30 pounds. You feel me? You can put all kind of shit in these skillers and they never go bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These skillers last for years on top of years. I mean, I'm pretty sure people still using some of these skillers somewhere out there. It's like these skillers you take out in the in the woods or something and you and you need something to fry something in, you just, like, it's one of them type of skills. It's old shit, but. But, what I'm saying is, to speak on this situation right here, you know, for the people that just get in, this is not one of the stories we covering today, but I just wanted to run this by y'all because I, I just seen it. Parents are suing Epic Gaming, claiming their kids are addicted to Fortnite. My kid don't take Oh, uh, he said, yeah, that black cast iron skillet. There you go. That's that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker that. That's that camping skillet. Uh, my kids don't take care of their hygiene. Don't take showers. They barely eat or sleep anymore. And we just was sitting here talking about how when I was growing up, it wasn't an option for this type of stuff, man. When your parents told you to do something and you didn't do it, man, they destroyed your game in front of you. Yo, no fucking lie, y'all. My cousin, he, he had got a fucking... My, my, his mama went and tore his fucking room up because he wouldn't let me play his game. Why you always doing them kids like that? All they try to do is come over there and play that game. And like I said, you know, your big cousin, he like, he living in this street life, so he like... Man, I ain't, you know, these little motherfuckers ain't gonna be in my room all the time because we be rambling. Y'all ain't gonna lie. Yo, once again, for my for my little cousins or my or for my little brothers in here, or for my big brothers or big cousins, y'all know. If your little cousin or your little brother come in your room, he all over your room. He gonna find some shit that you had took the way your mama come find it, but nigga, I'll find it. Nigga, I'll be in there looking for condoms, knowing I ain't using them. I'll be in there looking for magazines, looking there for bullets. Knowing I don't know what to do, but nigga, I'm rambling. If I, I was that cousin that gonna come in your room, play your game. I gotta get bored of playing your game. I'm flipping mattress up, seeing what you got in this. <laughs> nigga, I find me a dollar or something. You know, I was that little cousin that rambled. So, man, you know, I'm tired of every time them nigga can't be in my room. You know what I'm saying? He was talking to his mama like that. Man, she came in there and flipped that nigga room upside down. Let them goddamn kids come in there and play that game. Every time they come in here, they mess with stuff. He said, in fact, my little cousin, uh, he said, aggravating as hell. Bro, we gonna be in there looking for something. My little cousin still do that shit? <laughs> bro, we come in your room, and you leave out of that motherfucking time, and you finna be back. Nigga, we gonna play that game till we get tired. 
After we finish playing that game, we flipping that room upside down, nigga. We looking for some, nigga. Don't have no porn magazine right now, motherfucker. We taking those. Man, I don't know. Then when that nigga come back, man, you see my shit, man. I don't know. I ain't seen it. Man, you the only one been here. You been in my room. I ain't been in that room. Then his mama, leave that boy alone. That boy ain't been in that room. That boy ain't been in that room all day. I don't know. <laughs> you been in that nigga room fucking with shit all day. His mama don't know. She be in and out, you know, in the back room. She don't know what's going on. Nigga, you been in there fucking with that nigga shit. But, but, you know, long story short, though, man, you know, just close this top it off right here. Um, man, a lot of parents, like my guy was saying, man, they weak. A lot of parents try to be our friends, try to be their kid friends. I made that mistake early and I stopped it, man. I, when I first became a father, I was trying to be my daughter's friend. And then I realized, man, me and my daughter got along so much well when I started to discipline her. When I made, when I put fear into my daughter, me and her relationship became better. Not fear as in I'm an evil person, but fear as in discipline and disappointment. When my daughter began, began to feel disappointed about, about disappointing me, our relationship became better. You know what I'm saying? She wanted to impress me. You know, not, I'm your friend, but I'm your, I'm your dad. I'm your father, and, and, and what you did isn't right. And I spanked my daughter. You know, I still whoop my daughter. Now, I will say this. I haven't whooped my daughter in probably, probably two years. I haven't whooped her. But... She knows she can get it. You know, I take her stuff, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I spanked my daughter. I, I, I just spanked my daughter uh, quite a few times. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to lie. You know, it do hurt sometimes when you got to spank them. Because, you know, it's your babies. And you don't want to, you know what I'm saying, be that guy. But sometimes you have to do it. They may be crying. And, and you, yo, yo, for my parents out here, when you whoop your kids, how does it feel when you walk away and you can't look back? But you mistaken, look back, and you just go on close the door. Daddy didn't want to whoop you, but, you know, daddy had to whoop you, man. You know, daddy, I, I told you, you know what you're supposed to do. Daddy had to whoop you. Right. Oh, oh, no. I'm sorry, daddy. All right. You know what I'm saying? Daddy had to do it. <laughs> he said, with girls, you normally know, just have to yell. Facts normally, but sometimes you gotta whoop these girls ass too, bro. Cause you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you just got to, bro, because they'll be just like these motherfuckers talking about. They ain't gonna take no like when my daughter. You know I had to tell her, man, put that game down and go get in the tub. My daughter would run her bath water, go back to play Fortnite, forget the goddamn bath water. You go in there and check the bath water. This motherfucker ice cold. That's how long she been on her. You come up the stairs. I come up the stairs. Mark, did you rent your bath water 30 minutes ago? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then she'll put the controller down, acting like she's looking for her clothes. Man, you even go get your ass in that tub, man. Quit bullshit. Go get in that tub. I'm finna go get in there. You find out this motherfucker been playing the game for the last 30 minutes. She done ran the bath water, but went back in there to play the game. And you know, so she got to get it. She got to get in trouble for that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but like, you know, like I said, man, a lot of times we try to play this friend role and, and it, it's not helpful, man, to play that friend role. These kids going to run over your motherfucking ass. You play that friend role. Sometimes kids need spanking. He said, not that serious shit. He said, but the people on the internet just soft as hell. And you know, I know some parents, some parents say they, they don't have to spank their kids, you know? Uh, they done built the relationship, you know, to that fear factor. Like I said, if you have that fear factor, you can get away with not spanking your kids. I have that fear factor with my kids, but I still spank their ass just to let them know. Like I said, I haven't had to whoop my daughter in two years, but I might spank her ass next month just to let her know it's in the back pocket. Like, I know it might sound fucked up, but I think you just need to Every two months, every three months, you just need to whoop your kids' ass, bro, just so they can know it's in the back pocket. Like, what you get a whooping for today? It's in the back pocket. Daddy love you. You ain't doing that, but daddy just need to let you know it's in the back pocket if you start get crazy up in this motherfucker. 
You talking about, I asked him, what you did at school? We did P.E. Man, Kimmel, Kimmel, man. What you did at school? We did P.E. We did, we did, we did, we did. Man, I don't want to hear that we did shit. What you did at school? Man, y'all got them kids, that motherfucker say we did five times. Well, well, well. Man, what the fuck did you talk about? Man, come on, man. Let me show you what I got in the back pocket, man. You feel me? <laughs> he said I ain't walking over shit around right here. Hey, and I remember my daddy told me that. When I first tried to test my daddy out, my daddy said, I'm going to tell you right now. You can try it, but I'm going to let you know. I'm going to show you why I'm the man and you not. And, you know, I tried my daddy. You know, he showed me. You know, I ain't, I ain't bragging. The last time I told this story, nigga talking about, oh, you bragging about trying your daddy? What's wrong with you? Bro, ain't nobody bragging about it. I'm just saying, I tried it. I thought I could take my dad. I tried it one time. No, I tried it. Okay. Two times I did the, man, already. I ain't going to keep. You know, I did that two times. The third time, I, I actually tried it. And, you know, I tried it. You know, in a story. Yeah, that first time I felt them, felt them daddy licks, I got the message. You know, but two times, like, man, <laughs> you know, I did that to my daddy. You know, then third time I tried to, I tried to get me some, man. You know, I tried. <laughs> I ain't bragging on it. No, nigga, man, you bragging about trying your dad. Ain't nobody bragging. He said, I tried my dad, too. That's why he, uh, he the dad. That's all I'm going to say. Exactly. He said, yeah, that's not saying whooping your kids every day or some abusive shit. Um... And see me, I don't think it's abusive to whoop your kid. You know, they got this new term out here. It's abusive to spank your kids. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. Ass whooping save lives. Let's just. I would rather whoop my kid ass than to not whoop my kid ass. That's just me. That's me. I'm not telling nobody else how to be a parent. I can never. You know, I'm not perfect. Uh -huh. I don't even know if I'm good sometimes. I think I do a good job, but of course, I got flaws as a father. You know what I'm saying? But what I will say, I got four kids, and they all can get it. Yeah. I got two babies. I know I'm going to whoop their ass. My little girl that just turned one, I know for a fact she going to get it. I don't even need nobody. No, I ain't trying to hear I know. My little girl that just turned one, I know I'm going to whoop her ass. I know it. I already know I'm going to have to have one in there for her at least once a month. I can see how she act. I see how she, how she, she already talking about no. Mm -mm. I already know once a month I'm going to give it to her. She one years old. I already know the future for me and her relationship. I'm going to chat that ass up, man. <laughs> I'm going to chat that motherfucker ass up, dog. He said, my uncle got a white lady with two kids. He said, one seven, the other four. He don't whoop them. They four, they four years old, bad as hell. And that's what it is. You know, like I said, I ain't saying whoop has changed lives, but it helped me. It helped me. Whoop is scared you from doing certain things. You feel me? Like, if you got a parent that know how to whoop your ass real good, you that shit to be like, man, if I get a C, if I get a D or an F. The lowest I can come home with was a D. Of course, right? Because that passed. But that still was enough to possibly get an ass whooping. If I had a C, I'd be like, okay, I ain't got to think about no ass whooping. If I had a D, that's a possibility. If this nigga's in the wrong mood with this D, I can go home and get an ass whooping. Now, if I get to that point where I can't take the report card home at all, Nigga, you know how long I be talking about? They ain't gave them out yet. I ain't got mine. I don't know where mine at. I been asking the teacher for it. She ain't gave it to me yet. Nigga, I be saying that shit for four months. Until that one parent ran into my dad. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, they gave those out uh, last month. That motherfucker ain't brought here home yet. Oh, shit. What I got that report card at? That's all you hear. Nigga, I have on three, four pair of pants. Man, wait, hey. It's a wrap. It's an ass whooping time. You feel me? <laughs> nigga, I used to try my best. Dude. That shit used to work, man. That's one thing about parenting. And this is why parents need to communicate. Because you can lie to your parents for a long time. 
But when they run into the other parent, that's when all the fucking shit break loose. Oh, so this been going on at the school? That motherfucker ain't told me shit. Oh, this been going on? He ain't told me about that either. Man, you can, you can lie to your parents for a long time. But when they run into them other parents, well, all hell break loose. It's a, it's an all-out war on your motherfucking ass. So you been suspended for how long? This nigga been suspended two weeks. Going over to the homeboy house. Mom and daddy cool with it. You, your parents running to him. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, Satchel been over my house for the last two weeks. You know, what, what the fuck is doing over there? He's supposed to be at school. Uh, oh, so you been skipping school. You suspended. Man, psh, I used to skip school, chat. I used to leave school early. I'm going to tell y'all that one time, and then we're going to start the show. One time I was leaving school early. Uh, my girl was in the 12th grade. The girl I was dating I was in the 12th grade. I was in the 9th grade. So she used to leave school at 11, 11, 12 o'clock. They used to have like two, two, three classes, some, some shit like that. So I had a car. I was driving to school. You know what I'm saying? And, and she was in the 12th grade, so... Nigga, we used to leave school early, go fuck, you know what I'm saying? Just ride around, go sit at the goddamn park. You know what I'm saying? For y'all that skip school, you know what I'm talking about. Ain't nowhere to go. When you skip school, where you gonna go? You go to the baseball park, and you go to, what else? You just block around the city? Ain't nowhere to, where did y'all go when y'all skip school, bro? It, it's, bro, skipping school was so fun, but so hard. Because there was some limited options. Like, where the fuck you gonna go? Nigga tired of going to the baseball park. Until we find that one homie that, you know what I'm saying, he got a key, and his mom and daddy gone, ain't gonna come back till 3 or 5 o'clock night. But other than that, nigga, you at the baseball park all day, just sitting in the dugout, talking shit. Nigga, I should've stayed at school for that. <laughs> he said, this one dude I watched on YouTube said his mom uh, begged their dad to stop whooping him and his brother. He told her he going to stop and... Oh, I seen that. I seen that. I don't know who I seen that at. That was recently. I think that was on somebody interview. That was on somebody interview. And he said, man, he, the dude said, me and my brother was hell. He said, they dad stopped whooping them. And they end up going to prison and all that shit. I forgot who it was, but yeah, I seen that too. Um, So, I mean, me personally... I think whooping saved lives, and I think this story right here, to prevent things like this, my kids don't care about the hygiene. That's on you, parents. Your kids should not be making decisions. And see, that's when it comes back to sex genders and all that shit. We got kids telling their parents what they gonna do. That shit's so crazy to us because we didn't get that option. If you got an option type one to tell your parents what to do, any of y'all had that option? I didn't get that luxury to tell my dad I ain't going to school today. No, nigga, I had to lie and say I'm sick. I had to go in the bathroom. Uh, uh. Yeah, I couldn't go out there and say, nah, G, I ain't going today. And then go back and lay down. No, nah, nigga, I gotta somehow miss the bus. I take a shit as soon as the bus come. <laughs> as soon as the bus come, I'm gonna look. My daddy had a thing. I ain't taking your ass to school. I know my daddy was not going to take me to school. I know that's something that he don't want to do. So, nigga, I'm doing everything to miss this bus. If I can miss this bus, nigga, I'm staying home. I got it. If I can miss this bus, because I stayed out in the country. So, my dad ain't finna drive all the way to, to, to town to take me to fucking school. If I can somehow, nigga, just do enough to miss this bus. Nigga, bro, I used to... I used to get away with it sometime, but most of the time, nigga, I know what you're trying to do. You ain't going to miss that motherfucking bus today, or they're going to be your ass whooping. So, nigga, I ain't missing the bus today. <laughs> you feel me? So, uh, but yeah, man, you know, that's just my opinion on that, man. I, I, I'm, it, it's, it's very surprising how many kids get to tell their parents, yeah, I'm a boy now. Yeah, I'm a girl now. Yeah, um, I ain't, I ain't going to eat right now because I'm playing the game. You know what I'm saying? You said, um, I never rode a school bus to school. God damn, you ain't get that spirit that straight. Straight the school bus used to be lit, though. I ain't gonna lie. School bus was lit, man. Uh, it had some good and bad on the school bus. You know, 
Um, when you first come up in the game, that's a little nigga. You know, you get bullied by the older kids. You know, not necessarily bully, but you get picked on. You know what I'm saying? But as you become the older kid, you know, you get to have your turn. You feel me? He said, I had to walk to school or caught the city bus. Oh, nigga, you went through enough then. You went through the city bus. <laughs> nigga, you rode three, four buses then if you rode the city bus. Uh, but, yeah, man, that's my take on that, man. Um, You know, I, I, I wasn't planning on that being a story, but we happened to make it one. He said, school, yeah, school, but, man, on my school, but they sell chips, uh, candy, little juices. Nigga, we said, hey, we used to get, yo, what my favorite thing to do was to get the hot fries and the ruffles and mix them up together. Man, nigga, you talking about a good school bus day. Damn. And don't have no girlfriend that ride the school bus with you. Dog. I don't think it's nothing better than riding a school bus with your girlfriend. Is it? Is there any? You know, the back of the bus where everybody... Yo, it's crazy, though, how... You see how things flip, y'all? And we finna move on. I'ma say this one more thing. You know, they said Rosa Park were fighting to sit at the front of the bus. Because all the colored people had to sit at the back. But when we rode the bus as kids, the lit spot is in the back of the bus. Nobody wanna sit at the front of the bus. Everybody, y'all see how that shit flipped, man? Like, man, when I think about so much in this world, how they say it used to be ancestors' fault for these things and, and how we live today, man. It's just a completely 360. Wow. Completely 360. Uh, he said laughing at the uh, drunk and crazy. <laughs> I was asleep. I was asleep. Sometimes in the middle bus was lit. Uh, I mean, in the middle count could be lit because it's close to the back, so it could be. You know what I'm saying? But me... I always was sitting in the back of the bus, man. Uh, but I had to. But the thing about the back of the bus, you gotta earn. Y'all know what I'm talking about for my bus for my bus riders. You just can't sit at the back of the bus. You had to work your way up. You sit. You start in the in the front, then you ease on to the back. You had to earn these back of the bus seat. Like if you if you make it to the back of the bus, you earn that shit, nigga. You ain't just going back there talking about you gotta sit at the back. Nah, nigga, you don't get your motherfucking ass up and get up there, nigga. What the fuck is you doing? You know what I'm saying? Now, I I, I worked my way back there. I wait, I worked my way back there. I was waiting for the bus, and it was like four. Oh my god, nigga. He said, "Yeah, you gotta earn that shit, especially if you a little ass, nigga." Yeah, you ain't definitely go back there. But yo, man, waiting for the bus when it's cold outside. Oh my god. But you know what I seen? I seen some parent would be would 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 wait at the edge of the road with their kids. I thought that was some dope-ass shit because we used to drive by to pick some kids up and their parents would be out there with the car to keep these niggas warm. And I just was like, man, ain't this some shit? Everybody else out there be... <sighs> and then you see that one kid, bro. He done hopped out the car warm as shit. Man, what the fuck going on here? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, some shit that we went, like, this nigga parents actually woke up this morning, drove this nigga to the edge of the road, and just hung out with this nigga. Like, nigga, man, my dad, you don't get your motherfucking ass out there, how? <laughs> nigga, what the fuck? You finna waste no gas talking about coming to warm your motherfucking ass up? <laughs> get your motherfucking ass out here, nigga. He said we saw that we look like uh light his ass up. Oh thanks. Everybody gotta roast that nigga. He said, not nah, mine, wake your ass up again. <laughs> Sometime the bus never came. Yo! You know how fucking lucky you gotta be, J Clutch, for the bus not to come. You know how lucky you are, dog, for your bus to break down and don't come. They come like not eight or nine o'clock. Oh nigga ain't going to school no more. Nigga that took off his school clothes, that happened like twice in my life of going to school where the bus broke down and then they end up coming late. But by that time, you already took off your school clothes and your parents be like, well, shit, I ain't taking your motherfucking out of school, so you can go on, you can go on, stay here today. And then you see, you hear that goddamn bus. Mm. 
Nigga! Oh, shit. My dad said I can stay home, huh? Nah. But it's rare that the bus will break down, though. It's rare. It's rare, but it have happened to me like twice in my life where the bus broke down and they came later than they normally would come. And I'd be like, Dad, the bus ain't came. Well, you can go and take them school clothes off, then. You can stay here today. Nigga, you be happy to the motherfucker, dog. But let me ask y'all this, though, chat. And I know I say we about to move on. What about when your parents tell you you can stay home, but still don't let you play the game? But what the fuck I'm staying here for? You think I just want to stay here just to stay here? Man, I could have went to school for this shit. You telling me I'm staying home and I can't play the game? Bruh, man, that's the worst shit in the fucking world, bruh. I can stay home, but I can't play the game. Nigga. But ain't no reason to stay home, then. <laughs> Yo, he said, they never told me to stay home? God damn, nigga, you ain't had to get it, huh? <laughs> you better get on that goddamn city bus. Damn, bro. Get, hey. He said, my parents never did that. If I was home, he said, I'm playing that game. Nigga. I had to, that shit happened to me a few times, dog. You think you slick, huh? You done missed that bus on purpose. You missed that bus on purpose. You ain't playing that goddamn game. Get on in there and take them goddamn school clothes off. I bet you did. You better not take that goddamn game. Damn, man. That's my whole reason of missing the bus. My whole reason of missing the bus so I can fucking play the game. <laughs> <laughs> he said my mom never let me play the game he said even when i was sick oh bro that shit used to be ill dog he said i had to be dying in mid school god damn <laughs> all right man but that's that's my take on parents are suing epic you know what i'm saying we done seen this time and time again where his parents feel like it's the fucking gaming company fault why they kids are doing what they doing man so we'll get that low on the